in a fasted state. So these two groups of men, one were obese, one was more average weight. They gave, in a fasted state, they gave them the oxytocin nasal spray. And then they waited 45 minutes to see what happened to their hunger. And here's what they found. To a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite hormone. Hopefully you know it's my favorite, which is oxytocin, and how you can use oxytocin to kill hunger while you're fasting. So check this out. I have some really interesting research. It's not necessarily new research, but it's good research that we need to bring to light because it will help you with your fasting efforts. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and dive in. And those of you that share my videos out, super grateful for you. And let's talk about oxytocin. This is so fun. So sit tight. I've talked about oxytocin when it comes to the hormonal hierarchy. And if you're not familiar with the hormonal hierarchy, when oxytocin comes into your body, it starts to bring cortisol down. And when cortisol comes down, insulin's easier to regulate. When you regulate insulin, you are able to regulate your sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So it is like, the queen hormone, oxytocin, and we want to get a lot of it. But what oxytocin also does is when oxytocin comes on the scene, it regulates dopamine. So a little bit like serotonin, dopamine and serotonin work hand in hand, where when we get a dopamine rush, we want to come behind that with a serotonin rush because dopamine tells us that we want more, it's the molecule of more, and it's insatiable, you can never get enough, so you just keep wanting more and more and more. So you wanna bring some serotonin in so that it, serotonin tells you you're good, you should just be joyful. So they work in this, not necessarily inverse relationship, but they work like a team, and when you pair them together, you will feel not only that high that dopamine can give you, but it can also make you feel satisfied. So oxytocin works with dopamine a little bit the same. When oxytocin comes in, it kind of takes some pressure off of that more, 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 more feeling, which often shows up when we're looking at hunger. Think about it, like when you are overeating, you like go to eat your favorite food, and you, even before you get to that favorite food, the dopamine is hitting and your brain is like, I'm gonna eat that, that's gonna be amazing. And you go to grab it and if it depends on what the food is, it can take some wa a while for that dopamine response to stop and you may have overeaten for more than you would have actually preferred to eat. So we want to use oxytocin to kind of shut that dopamine response down so we don't overeat. And here's what this study showed, is that when individuals were given oxytocin and they did it in a nasal spray, it killed hunger. Now, this is really interesting. And if you've been around to my channel for a while, stick with me because you know how I present science here. And there's a lot of nuance that I want you to know. If you are new to my channel, sit tight for a moment as I walk you through this train of thought. So when oxytocin, they did an oxytocin spray in the nose of 38 men. So this is a male study. 20 of those men were obese, 18 of them were a normal weight. That's how, the, how uh, you know, what it truly is a normal weight, but this is what this, the study showed. And what they did is in a fasted state, so these two groups of men, one were obese, one was more average weight, they gave, in a fasted state, they gave them the oxytocin nasal spray. And then they waited 45 minutes to see what happened to their hunger. And here's what they found. And I, I, I decided to elevate this because it's too good to highlight this, but this was the conclusion of the study, that oxytocin exerts an inhibitory effect on food intake. So, and it did it more in the obese men than the normal weight men. So why is that? Well, it turns out that we have oxytocin receptor sites in our adipose tissue. 
So the more adipose tissue you have, the more receptor sites you have to pull oxytocin in and kill hunger. Now let's stop and think about this for a minute. Why did the brilliant body do that? Because oxytocin slows down that dopamine response. So let's go to an overeating moment for a, for, for a brief moment. You're eating the chocolate cake. You're excited about the chocolate cake. You can't stop because dopamine's like, go, 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 go. Well, when we put the oxytocin, get oxytocin in in that moment, what it does is it shuts hunger down so that you stop overeating. So your fat tissue knows that it needs to be burned. It knows that accumulating more fat is not healthy. So the intelligent body put extra oxytocin receptor sites in there so that we can shut down the overeating response and shut down dopamine, but you can still feel good because nobody feels bad on oxytocin. So how do we use this to our advantage? Follow me here for a moment. When we are opening up our eating window, I hear this so much from you guys, where you have been fasting for a period of time and now it's time to eat. And when you start to eat, you just start eating and you can't stop. This is where we wanna bring some oxytocin in. Okay, how would we do that? Something as simple as petting your dog. Petting your dog raises oxytocin. Hugging a loved one, or you're gonna hug a non-loved one if you want. Hugging will give you oxytocin. Um, calling a friend and telling a friend how much you care about them. T telling somebody you're grateful for them. Feeling gratitude for yourself. Laughing. All of these are gonna give you oxytocin bursts. So you could get on the phone with a friend while you're breaking your fast and you're eating something. You could hug, you know, if you have a teenager in your house, I highly recommend hugging those teens. Yeah, they, it's good for them and good for your oxytocin boost. You could write a thank you note and, and, and send it off to somebody. You could go into a state of gratitude and just close your eyes and think of something you're grateful for. And all of a sudden oxytocin comes in, dopamine goes down and your hunger stops. We are neurochemical beings. The body is so flipping intelligent that it came with this oxytocin system embedded in not only your brain, but into your adipose tissue so that you don't keep getting more and more and more obese. You don't keep gaining more weight. You don't keep overeating. So use those receptor sites to your advantage and it can be that simple of a switch. So hopefully this is brand new information to you. I will put a link to this study down in the notes so you have it, the, uh, the inhibitory effect that oxytocin had. Uh, it isn't a new study, it goes back to 2016, but it's so good I wanted to put it out there. And let's practice that. You know, If you're struggling with overeating, look at all the ways you can improve oxytocin to really kill hunger, especially in the fasted state or when you're breaking your fast. So as always, this was Fast Training Week. Let me know if that was helpful. Um, if you have a, a great way to make um, oxytocin that you love, go ahead and put it in the, in the comments. Um, if you are new to my channel, you want the companion guide, go ahead and put the companion guide in, uh, in your comments and my team will send you a link. But you're a miracle, you literally are a miracle. And when I read studies like this and I dive into why would the body do that, I start to realize that it's really a brilliant system that we've been living in. We just have, were never given the user's manual. We are never taught how to do it, how to use these neurochemicals to our advantage. So studies like this really point us in the right direction. I hope that helps. Questions on it? I know it's a total side twist on oxytocin and hunger. Put your questions in the comments and I'll make sure that we answer it. As always, I hope that helps.